And we're live. Uh, just one quick thing. And we're live. I just want to do one quick thing before we actually start the game. I just want to get back to my boy uh, Hugo. Just let him know. There he is. Ah, there it is. <laughs> I know we wanted a seamless transition. There it is. Welcome. <laughs> What's up, bro? <laughs> well, kind of. <laughs> I'm actually watching Hugo's stream while I start this stream. <laughs> hey, Tyler. Okay. I'll catch you guys. Yeah, now I'm actually going to start playing. <laughs> That was a nice transition. I always like to wait until my friend, my favorite YouTubers are done with their streams, and then um, I'll wait till they're done. And if they uh, if if they want to uh, recommend a next stream, then I'll uh, I'll fire it up for that seamless transition. So uh, welcome to Hugo Squad. Thanks for being on the stream. Uh, welcome everyone. Thanks for uh, being part of the notification squad. You lost to a Tyrannotar Gym raid last week. Oh man, yeah. Do you mean that you lost the raid or that you lost the catch? Both are hard to do. You saw Mystic 7 and Trainer Tips? Nice. Did you see their, um, did they post news yet about the news? About the, uh, the breaking news, about the uh, events, the worldwide events? Because, yeah, there's, uh... oh, no problem, Mystic uh, Adventures. I'm happy to continue helping. Anything you need, bro. Ah, uh, you lost the raid. Nice. I mean, not nice, but but that happens a lot. It's not just you, man. Those raids are hard. And also, the catches after the raids are really hard, too. Hey, hey, hey can we get a like spike early? The earlier, earlier the like spikes happen, the better. So, thanks for reminding, Joe. Bro. Um, oh, what events? Um, am I going to go fast? Yes. Uh, so, those of you guys who are on the uh, Hugo stream, you might have seen the news because you took a moment to look at the events, but I realize some of you guys might be uh, joining based on notifications for this channel, and uh, it's probably worth taking a quick look, especially since my uh, game is uh, is uh, glitching. Twitter, 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 eBay, okay. I know, well you know what's funny is it doesn't usually take that long, let's see if we can get a better load this time. That was unusually slow. Red Panda, first light. So we're back on the streets of New York City, as usual. Oh, I better turn down that sound. Actually, I better turn on uh, do not disturb mode. Okay, yeah, that's a better load. Speed. That's much better. We're in. Cool. Hey, you're back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Thanks for being on the stream. Notice that equation for us. That's why it is really effective today. Cloud IG is here. How's it going? More notification squad. Thank you guys so much for jumping on the stream. And the first catch of the stream. How's the mic? Um, thank you so much. I just I just realized, thanks to you, that I had totally spaced because I was listening to the um, I was listening to the stream, um, the Hugo stream. Um, Mystic Seven's gonna start streaming soon, as in like soon now or soon like soon in life okay sorry about that Hannah thank you so much for the good call on the uh, uh, on the mic I was listening to uh, Hugo's stream and uh, waiting because uh, he wanted me to stream next but I didn't want to wait I didn't I was trying to wait till it was just the right time uh, and I forgot to switch the, the headphones for the mic so yet again you are saving my butt with the audio sound 
quality control. Thank you so much, Hannah. You're awesome. <laughs> All right, here we go. So I'm going to plug in the mic, and while I do this, I'm actually going to pull up the news. Let's check out the news. Pokemon Go news. Big, huge news. Gigantic news. There you go. So I haven't actually read this yet, so stand by while I learn something. Oh, it's looking good? Cool. Nice. Thank you so much for letting me know. And again, thank you for reminding me. Thank you so much for letting me know. And thanks again for reminding me to take off the head um, phones. Leo, yes. Doopy, what is up? Next few months, I'm going to turn uh, comments off here. Next few months, we'll be making and hosting a number of events taking place all over the world uh, in celebration of Pokemon Go's one year anniversary. No matter where you live, you'll be invited to join in the fun. I think the most exciting stuff is you know, we already know Pokemon uh, Fest is going to happen, but now um, they're sharing details about how Pokemon Go trainers anywhere in the world can uh, still participate. Uh, in the Global Challenge with trainers who are at the event. If, if I were to point out one really key uh, bit of this news, it's that. It's that I think they're trying to create a situation where even if you can't be in Chicago, even because there's lots of hardcore players who are not going to be in Chicago, uh, they want to make sure those trainers can actually participate in uh, the, the uh, special uh, challenges and uh, they've released information about that today, so that's pretty awesome. Pardon me, guys, I'm just gonna get the mic fully set up and then we're gonna rock and roll. During the day, there will be three challenge windows in which trainers everywhere will work uh, alongside those in Chicago. So that means anywhere, trainers who are not in Chicago globally work alongside those in Chicago to unlock global rewards. During the challenge windows, trainers will, will attempt to unlock perks for Pokemon Go players around the world by catching certain types of Pokemon. Each Pokemon type will be tied to a different perk, so trainers at the park will need to carefully choose which Pokemon they catch. And so it basically sounds like the people in the park are playing not just for themselves, but for their uh, Poke Pokemon family all over the world. Uh, and then people around the world will also see this outside of Chicago. They will attempt to catch as many Pokemon as possible during the challenge windows to extend the duration of the bonuses unlocked by those in the event. So it's kind of like the event players are trying to unlock benefits for people outside, benefits for people who are playing um, all around the world will then be unlocked and then they'll try to keep the challenge rolling to um, extend the benefits for the people in the park. So I think this is pretty exciting. Audio much better now, right? What a difference, right? Haha, <laughs> yes. Thanks for the, uh, for the early uh, quality control there. Really appreciate it. Buenos dias. Como estas? Oh, and there you are. Thrills in the dig. Nice. How's it going? All right. So if trainers around the world catch enough Pokemon, a mystery challenge will be unveiled back in Grant Park. So again, the people outside of the park um, are going to be competing on challenges, uh, global challenges, where they're actually giving something back to benefit the people who are also trying to unlock benefits for the world. So it's kind of like, I think the main thing, if we, you know, setting aside the details, the main thing that I'm understanding from this update is you have people in Grant Park unlocking benefits that would then be available to anyone playing at the same time in any place in the whole world and then people any place in the whole world get challenges and if they unlock those challenges they give benefits back to people who are playing for them to unlock benefits inside the park it's pretty cool that's pretty darn cool wow oh chuck thank you so much i know um that uh well i actually found out about it while i was watching hugo stream so he already read this I might be the second person covering it live, I'm not really sure. Um, there's, there's more news here about events in Europe. 
So those of you who are in Europe, there are special events. It looks like these special events are on other days. I guess that makes sense because the Play Together Worldwide event is specifically on uh, July 22nd. Uh, and, um, and, and these are them. The challenge windows are rewards, uh, yeah, there's like, it's based on time, right? So different types of rewards. Uh, so the main news thrills is that on, like you basically want to block your calendar to play all day on July 22nd um, from 10 a.m. Uh, Chicago time until 7 p.m. Chicago time, even if you're not there, because um, everyone in the world will be able to benefit from rewards that are being unlocked in Chicago and then also in Chicago and then anyone in the world will also be able to unlock benefits that go back to Chicago and so that's how they solve this problem of how the whole world plays together play together worldwide it's hola not hola oh good point thank you hola como esta como estas yeah my my uh, pronunciation is terrible yeah this is going to be great um, and and then there's a mystery challenge what is the mystery challenge about? Uh, oh, from six to seven, achieve uh, gold tier in, in phase one's worldwide challenges to unlock the mystery ch challenge inside Grant Park, at which point those of us who are in Grant Park will thank you so much. Um, and then complete phase two's mystery challenge to unlock a major global world. Yeah, so it's basically like possibly up to six. It's a great way to make it fair to others, right? possibly up to six situations where there's a there's a challenge inside Grant Park that unlocks benefits for the for everyone around the world um, and then there's a challenge for everyone playing around the world which unlocks benefits that they give back to Grant Park uh, one two three four five six we can read the details later um, and then seven is the mystery challenge which the world tries to complete and then th then that challenge goes back into Grant, Grant Park and then if Grant Park completes a certain challenge, then they unlock a final benefit to the world, uh, which continues for two more days. Nice. That is some news. So, uh, and I think there's detail in the written description, which I heard from uh, Hugo in his stream, that talked about how depending upon how well it's unlocked, you get either 24 hours or up to 48 hours. So that would make sense. It would be either 24 hours, uh, these extra challenge windows going into July 23rd, or um, or if it's 48 hours, then it extends until Monday, July 24th. It's pretty exciting, dude. Yeah, so block your calendars, guys. I'll be in Grant Park, and it would be awesome to know uh, what you guys are doing that day because we're all gonna play together. We'll play together um, worldwide. Out insane, absolutely insane. Wow, dude. Now I re now I'm even more respect. Uh, now I'm even more excited uh, about uh, the event. All right. Well, um, yeah. I wish I could put an overlay of that on my um, stream, but I don't think I can. Um, cool. I'm super excited though. <laughs> yes, you guys are always on it. I love it. Thanks so much, guys. Do I think there will be legendary? I also do think there will be legendaries, yes. Oh yeah, El Rivas, Leo definitely speaks, he speaks much better Spanish than me. I mean, I barely speak Spanish, but uh, he absolutely does speak Spanish uh, extremely well, actually. So that's one reason why we're actually looking on this channel to officially embrace uh, Spanish speakers. Um, and so you'll notice that we, uh, unless you're speaking, unless you're spamming Spanish, but you can absolutely comment in Spanish if, if you're, I mean, I would encourage you to comment in English if you're multilingual, but if people join us from places in the world where they're not that comfortable in English, um, if they're Spanish speaking, we encourage them to stick around and um, when Leo's here, uh, he could actually, uh, you know, keep them posted on the main things that are going on so they understand, and if there's a really good joke, he translates it. So I think we're gonna be the first streaming channel to officially be uh, bilingual. 
And we obviously don't have translators for all languages, but uh, there's a lot of Spanish speakers out there. We want to welcome them to uh, Team Stream NYC anytime they want to stop by. Uh, and I'm excited about that. All right, let's see what we can do here in terms of actual Pokemon Go gameplay. I'm going to drop a lucky egg here in case some, uh, something happens. Oh, Adam, you can help with uh, Polish speakers. That's awesome. So when you're around, we can totally... So basically the policy I want to have on multilingual um, uh, multilingual stuff is um, if there's someone who has volunteered, just like Leo has, to, to make um, people feel comfortable even if they are not um, comfortable speaking English, if you see someone com comes, comes on from that language and let's say they comment in Polish, you can just say, hey, welcome, welcome. We prefer if you comment in, po in English. You can say this in Polish. You can say, if, if you comment in English, Jamie will understand it. James will understand it. But if you have questions about what's going on, let me know and I'll uh, keep you posted. And I'll let you know. So it's not that we're encouraging people to speak another language that I don't understand very well, but it's that we're embracing people who want to watch the stream and understand what's happening, the main things, you know, not necessarily every silly thing that I say, but if there's an important thing like what we're about to do, um, where we're going, what we're chasing, why I'm doing something, um, I want people to be informed. So if you're comfortable informing uh, Polish people, that would be awesome. Yeah, there's going to be a safari zone in Europe. I only read a few parts of the news, honestly, because I think I'm most excited about the let's play together concept. Um, between Grant on the 22nd, Grant Park and the entire world getting those challenges. But uh, actually, I think that... Um, uh, but I also think, but I, um, but there's other news, lots of great news for people in Europe uh, about events coming up. <laughs> exactly. So basically it's, please, please leave comments in English so Jamie can understand. But then, James, sorry, my nickname is Jamie, but sometimes it slips out. Um, definitely mark your calendars for the 22nd, guys. Um, but, but then do also what you've been doing, Leo, which is if you notice someone, like it's, it's easier for you as a Spanish speaker to notice if someone joins and they don't comment in English, that maybe they just are doing that because they have trouble understanding English. So in that case, I want you to reach out, with, out to them. Make sure they're not going to spam and ask you, you know, every two seconds what's happening, but say, hey, I'll keep you posted on the, uh, the main stuff that's happening. Omni Squad in the house. Hey, Lauren. Barry, what is up? And I missed someone else's comment. El Rivas. Hey, Hui Tang. You're here from Singapore? That is awesome. It's great, 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 great to see you. I have a question, actually, Hui Tang. Do you have a Pokemon Go channel, by any chance, in uh, Singapore? I didn't get a chance to ask you that, because if you do, I want to subscribe, because I used to live in Singapore for a couple of years, um, and, uh, um, and I'd love to see how, how it's uh, uh, played in, in Singapore. Oh, you woke up to see me live, cool. I find live streams are a great way to wake up, I actually... <laughs> I'm all, I always check to see if someone's streaming when I wake up, unless I have to, you know, jump in the shower immediately. King Plays, what is up? Thanks for being on the stream. Shout out to all 71 watching. Thanks for joining, guys. Really appreciate it. So I've been looking for a uh, gym I can take down. This might be a good one, um, but the key is while I do a gym takedown, I absolutely need to also, wow, check out this manky spawn, double spawn. How goes the Poke Walk, Brave Leo? It goes pretty well, it goes pretty well. And uh, hey, Booby2, am I with you, Go? I'm not actually with him in person, but I'm always with him in spirit. <laughs> He's my Poke Bro. Um, yeah, so um, he actually had to had to head back. Hey, Chris H., what's up? Um, he had to head back to Connecticut. Um, so as his stream was ending, I uh, 
I suggested I'll, uh, I'll, I'll start the stream and keep it, uh, keep it rolling. I've noticed that you're definitely the night owl. Hey, there he is, my poker bro. That was a seamless transition. Thanks a lot, bro. Thanks for sending the uh, Hugo squad over so that I could uh, have lots of great company here. Hugo's in the car. He's on route to uh, yet another destination. Anyone going to the Chester event? Yeah, so now you know there's a Chester event. Hopefully a lot of you guys are going to go there. Who hates when you have updates on your PC? Oh, you mean the updates where you have to download it, restart, and then wait for an unpredictable uh, amount of time? Yeah, I don't like those at all. Me neither. Wooly Army is in the house! Haha, <laughs> that clutch. Wait, was that a 74 CP? Oh man, so I obviously should have fine it. That was a fail. So the Chester event is an event in Chester. Guys, uh, for those of us not in the UK, tell us more about where Chester is, please. Whoops, did the app just crash? I think so. Tell us more about Chester. Us Americans are extremely ignorant when it comes to uh, global geography. I, I assumed it was in England, but where exactly? Oh, cool. You don't need a ticket. That's cool. Plenty of exclusives. Oh, man, that's cool. So no, no need to buy tickets. Turn up. Oh, nice, their list. Your, uh, your girlfriend is... So it's the Northwest. Okay, cool. Oh, they're, they're opening a castle up to the public. That is cool. <laughs> Do you mean to say that's one of the original Roman towns? Oh, so sounds awesome. Holy cow. Holy cow, that sounds awesome. Double cool. Around the center of, Ch around the history of Chester. Oh man, feel me once. That is exactly the kind of like, I think that captures the spirit of the original intent of this game. Oh man, I'm really excited about that. If I could somehow afford to go there, I would. I should check. I just heard there are some incredible budget uh, carriers that have recently opened up uh, really cheap uh, flights to, uh, to London. We'll see. One thing at a time. And anyways, thanks for being on the stream, really, guys. Really appreciate it. I'm walking a different route, so I'm able to hit a bunch of Halo Pokestops, and that's good. Might even do a quick evolution here or there just to get the uh, double XP. Please bear with me while we leave all of this uh, random. Wooly, you'll definitely be there. You heard it first, guys. Check out Wooly Bantam. It would be great to see her there, definitely. Do I have Tyranitar? Yes. And she'll be filming. Nice. So if you can't be there, you'll, you'll be there courtesy of the camera and the internet. Carp King, I don't know uh, Mystic7 uh, personally. Um, we might meet when I'm at uh, GoFest, although I know he'll be mobbed and there'll be a million people, so it might be hard to uh, find everyone. But uh, yeah, I'd love to meet like, his energy and uh, we have a few things in common. Hey, Zavira Games, welcome back, welcome back. Happy Royal, hi. Yes, Hugo is in the house. Mr. Kyle, what is up? Your stream last night was mega lit. I was so happy that I was able to join most of it and share it like five times on Twitter because I just loved it so much. Oh, Dara Freeman, that's a great question. Do I have any theories about um, being able to catch the regionals and if they will rotate them? Um, I 
think it's a great idea, but I don't have a lot of insight into whether it will happen. Lynette, maybe you do? Bart VL, what is up, my friend? Bart, um, I apologize if you already told me this. I know you're in, uh, I know that you, I know that you're in uh, Cleveland. I was wondering if you are um, gonna be uh, at GoFest. I apologize if you already told me. I'm trying to create a more comprehensive list of exactly who I know is going to GoFest that I really wanna meet, that I already know, like you. Uh, do fly, please don't spam. You don't want to make me uh, turn on uh, slow mode. Slow mode is very annoying for those who actually have important things to say. And you often do have important things to say. What's going on, bro? Are you okay today? I've enjoyed having you on the streams, but the rules do apply to everyone, even people who I enjoy having on the streams. Oh, Jesse G, that's a great question. What is the Pokemon that I've spent the most Stardust on? Probably Snorlax. Okay, that's cool, Doopy. So just to clarify, um, posting the exact same thing more than once is considered spam on this channel. If, uh, if you didn't already know, that's fine. No harm, no foul. Now you know. Also, in general, try to keep the uh, comments uh, related to the gameplay. That's uh, another thing that uh, affects how uh, quickly, um, you know, it, that is another effect how we interpret the messages. What am I going to do now? Great ideas. Great question. So wait, first of all, did I even put on a lucky egg? All right, so that was my imagination. I, I've thought that I had a lucky egg this entire, <laughs> this entire episode. That's embarrassing. So if I don't have a lucky egg on, then I'm not going to keep, uh, that's, I'm not going to keep uh, focusing on these uh, Halo Pokestops and these random evolutions. I'm going to take a gym down. I'm going to get a coffee and take a gym all the way down by myself. Alright, step, step one, find the coffee. Step two, find the target gym and break it, take it down. Also, 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 let's see what's on the, uh, let's see what's on the nearby NYC Pokemon. What's the uh, highest wild-caught Pokemon I have? Oh, I got to show you this. It's really cool. So, you're making some too? Nice. I'm in a neighborhood I don't know quite as well, so I'm not sure where the best uh, place for coffee is, but if I keep walking, I will find one. So yes, to confirm, what I'm going to try to do right now is find either Gym Raid or Gym Takedown, and in the meantime, of course, if I see something ultra rare, I'm going to run for it like I usually do, like I always do. Shout out to all 77 or something like that, people watching. Shout out to everyone watching. Uh, thank you so much for being on the stream, really appreciate it. If you haven't had a chance to hit the like button, please do hit the like button. The sooner you hit it, the better for the stream, and I really appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, uh, please consider subscribing if you like to watch legit gameplay on the streets of New York City. Because that's what we do. Hey, 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 Milltown Tubes! How's it going? Alright, nothing super rare right now. Now let's check for uh, raids. Open new tab. Keep my pockets fastened when walking around Chester. Oh, is that right? Oh, interesting. Yeah, it's a good idea to be aware of your surroundings, I guess. Oh, highest uh, CB Pokemon I've caught. Thanks for reminding me to answer that question. Sorry, it took me a second. Got distracted by the search for these uh, nearbys. Search for rares. There's a level one hatching soon. All right, we'll come back to that map in a second. So the answer is it's a uh, Dragonite that I caught in the wild. Uh, caught a Dragonite in the wild last July. Before I even kind of totally got how lucky I was, I tripped over a Dragonite on, I think, July 28th. And I powered it all the way up. Uh, 
and uh, it's still my strongest. Hey, you're in the uh, you're in the house. Going to a tier three raid in five minutes. Nice. Nice. Oh, and I have a hatch. Oh, yeah, we could use the... Al Let's definitely use the Happy Royal Alakazam. Absolutely. Guys, I did some really random battles yesterday and recorded them, which I'm going to upload. Um, in one case, I was actually able to use a weak Pichu to, be to deal the final blows to take down a Blissey. Don't get me wrong, the Pichu did not deliver all the damage, but I timed it just right so that when there was just a tiny bit of CP left or motivation left, uh, the uh, Ash Hat Pichu, no Pikachu, uh, delivered the uh, deciding blow. It was funny. Uh, so to answer your earlier question, uh, the strongest, whoops, the strongest Pokemon ever caught in the wild was this guy, I think. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, 728-2006, that's, uh, that's why. Um, okay, so, uh, so mods, if, if we are having a problem with Doopy and now, uh, he's back posting disrespectful and or, uh, strange comments, dude, if you've been timed out by one of my mods, it's probably because you've done something that they already asked you not to do, like disrespect, like spamming, etc. I trust my mod's judgment. You're so welcome on the stream. Um, if one pro tip is, if you get timed out, keep a close eye on the chats because you're going to be told, and I think you might have just been told again the reason. So, if you're going to keep claiming you don't know the reason, it means you're either not reading the chat messages, or you are pretending not to read the chat messages. So, so guys, if we continue to have a problem, you do have the, you, you now have the authorization to ban. Um, so I guess Doopy, I, the mods don't, don't ban anyone unless they use hate speech, which I don't think you've used, or misogyny or, or intense disrespect, but they do ban people if I've personally approved it. So I've now personally approved you to be banned if you continue to give the uh, mods a uh, problem. So uh, I hope you don't. Please stick around. Relax, chill out, enjoy the show. I know you do enjoy the show, uh, based on your previous comments. So I hope you, uh, I hope you can uh, just follow the rules, and and you'll be welcome. <clears throat> my Insta, yes, you can totally sub my Insta. Uh, the Insta is uh, Team Stream NYC, same as my trainer name, which you can read right there. Okay, I better keep a closer eye out for coffee here. Because once I get... Ah! Okay, it's a juice bar. Juice bar would have decent coffee, right? Wait, you got the second mouth going through the roof of your mouth behind the... Oh, boy, really? Coffee hype. Oh yeah, my Insta is, well it's not really private, it's just that I have to approve uh, followers. So all you gotta do is uh, request to follow me and I'll approve it, because I know you. Oh, good point, did I re-incubate? Thank you so much, Jerome, you're on the ball much more than me. Thanks for being an extension of my brain here. All right, still don't have a 2K, but I think I'm just gonna start this because you're right. Okay, cool. All right, let's get that coffee and then I'm gonna take a gym down or raid a gym. Please stand by for a sec. Hello, how are you? So I'm actually just gonna have a coffee. 
Yes, please. Um. Uh, small is good. Uh, black, please. Oh, hey, um, I missed, uh, my Insta is this, it's Team Stream NYC, so it's actually the same as my um, Twitter hashtag for the, uh, for the channel. Team Stream NYC, all one word. Yeah, Lauren, I don't know why I went for small. Maybe it's because I want to have a uh, permission from myself to have a second one pretty soon. <laughs> Plus, um, it's the first time I'm getting coffee at this particular establishment. Oh, thank you so much. Have a great day. Also, one thing I noticed, Lauren, maybe this is TMI, but you can probably relate since you're on the stream so much, is when you're streaming, if you hold a really uh, big cup of coffee, it actually is a little bit harder to keep uh, playing well. But if you have a nice small cup, it doesn't, you can almost even hold the cup and your, I don't know, I'm just saying like it doesn't weigh you down, it doesn't affect your ability to keep the stream rolling. Hey, Portals 8, you're from Singapore as well? We've got several up in here from this, from Singapore, from the great city-state of Singapore. One place I do know exactly where it is, despite my geography not being great, is Singapore. Shout out to Singapore, almost exactly on the equator, on the equator. Right, right at the very, very bottom of um, Malaysia, home to some of the most incredible and reasonably priced food from all over the world. Man, I just missed that place. Please send me some footage from Singapore. <laughs> Please send me some gameplay footage from Singapore. I'm having some Singapore uh, nostalgia right now, as you can tell. <laughs> all right, let's see, what are we taking down? Are we taking this place down? Yeah, we could. Uh, Yeshua, how's it going? And thank you. That's a great point. Thanks for reminding. Wait, Yeshua, are you um, are you my friend from from uh, are you um, the son of uh, my boy uh, Fireplace? Yeah, that is a strong gym there. Do you think I should go for a different one? Oh, fuel me once. Your brother lives in Singapore. Nice, cool. And fuel me, remind me where you live. Sorry for my memory being so poor. Yes, Yeshua, my boy. Yeshua, I should mod you. Um, so, am I saying it right? Or is it, yeah, it, you pronounce it like Joshua, but with a yes. So that would be, yeah, Yeshua, right? Uh, yeah, so get, check it out. Yeshua is on the stream. He's uh, the son of, uh, um, of Fireblaze. Uh, and you guys saw him on uh, one of the collab streams uh, when I was playing with Fireblaze. Hey, hey, happy Royal. You are there, nice. Okay, do we take down that gym, which looks pretty strong, or do we, oh, so if we went over to this gym and worked at it, Pokemon Sun live stream. I will consider it. I actually don't have the game yet, so I'd have to do a little bit of uh, educating myself. So if I wor work at this statue, try to take this gym down, the benefit would be we would be closer to this level four or, uh, oh, actually, no, never mind this. Never mind. I read it wrong. Holland in the house. How's it going? Oh, happy Royal. I got the instant notification. Nice. So after the stream, I see the notification on the top of the... Uh, page actually so after the stream I'll definitely be happy to uh, check that out and uh, accept your follow request okay so where are the level 4 raids popping right now let's check the map click on this and check the map thanks for sticking around guys I realize it's taken me a little while to uh, to find the gym to take down and also to find a raid but I promise you I will promise you I will let's check the map oh it's uh, raining bad there in the 414 interesting okay where 
are the fours at? I want to filter this. I think I'm going to unfilter the ones in the twos. There are lesser and lesser level four gyms. Interesting. I see a whole bunch are up high there. Um, not that many around here unless we walk over this way. Getting ready to pour there and, uh, oh wow, really? Okay, we do have a level four starting up there and also up there. Interesting, that might be a future future thing. Hmm, unless I get on a bus, Sixth Avenue. Hmm, contemplates. Yeah, a lot of practice holding a drink in the other, side, other head, that's right. Yeah, I'm further down than, than I usually am, actually. I, you know what's weird, Deveris? I actually rarely play in this neighborhood. Uh, this is what they call um, Tribeca. Uh, it's the triangle below uh, Canal. But you know what? I should just go with it because you guys will get to see a different neighborhood, which is always nice. So let's uh, take down a gym in Tribeca. It's okay. We'll do, uh, we'll do a raid bad when it, um, a gym raid when it pops. Hey, Eric G, what's up? What is up? I'm about to take this gym down. It sounds fun, too. Statue of Juan Pablo Duarte. And uh, tell me more about Juan Pablo, if you know. Please. Yeah, it's nice to hear different, see different areas. And uh, this area is nice. It's got a nice, cool breeze. Coffee's kind of expensive in this neighborhood, but then again, that makes sense. It's a very expensive neighborhood. Arvind, who's up, man? What's up, man? Great to see you on the stream. Great to see you. Yeah, huge news. That's... Eric, you might have seen that, knowing how into the game you are, but if you haven't seen that, that was the biggest news on the stream, was we, uh, we read the news. <laughs> uh, aside from that, I've been grinding, getting some coffee, and now I'm going to uh, take down a gym, get myself some uh, gym rewards here, and hopefully know a little, learn a little bit more about this statue. Oh, and I didn't notice this, but actually... We can do a gym raid, although it may not be the highest level. Okay, level one. You know, I haven't done a level one. If it's a magic carp, I'm going to do it just like, uh, uh, just like my boy Hugo Gal Valentine did. Cool. Now we got a plan. That's better. It's good to have a plan. Thanks for being on the stream, guys. Thanks for sticking around while I came up with a plan. Um, oh yeah, and Arvind, congratulations. Big shout out to Arvind Kumar, another streamer and um, YouTuber uh, focusing on, uh, on this game, on Pokemon Go. Uh, check it out, he is out of the No Shiny Club. Uh, his video is right up there, you should definitely check it out. Uh, it's on my, my watch later right now because I've been so busy, dude, I haven't seen it yet. Um, but um, I want to see it. Yeah, now I'm a man with a plan. Took me longer than usual to have a plan. Oh wait, no, no, that's not the plan. So my plan is to battle at the statue. Cool. Step one, battle at statue. Step two, level one raid if, and this is very important if, uh, if it's a, uh, so, so let's make a decision here. It, it, we're definitely going to go for the level one if it's a Magikarp, just like Hugo did. Um, we're definitely going to go for it in what circumstances? What, uh, what level one raid would you guys not pass up? What Yeshua said, exactly. Please do. Oh, I remember this place. I actually had a, so back in the early days, this is probably in July, maybe August, uh, I um, 
I played at this gym. It's been since maybe August of last year that I played at this gym, or battled at this gym. And I made a video called Battle of the Gengars, which was one of the few videos that I posted way back then, because I didn't really post many videos, even though I recorded a lot of gameplay back then. And somehow that video got uh, a copyright strike on it because of some loud music that was being played on the street by another trainer who was also battling the gym. So this place blink brings back a memory. I did get to use six Gengars in a battle though. Nice. And there's some shade. And Oh, and there's some construction noise. Oh, 91% uh, Porygon, up near 46th Street. Uh, yeah, I do like those poke. Thank you for letting me know. I totally appreciate it. Too far up as, as you suspected. But I uh, really appreciate it anyways. All right, let's battle at the statue of uh, Juan Pablo Duarte. Oh, just on Marie. Congratulations, that's awesome. Can I battle on a bench? I think so. Nice. All right, let's rock and roll. And Hana, um, you mentioned that um, you wouldn't mind if I used your raid pass. Do you mind if I use my raid pass in my next uh, stream, the, the late stream, the late earth stream, uh, with my son? And we'll go for level four or something. Oh, the Instagram uh, is uh, Team Stream NYC. So it's actually the same um, letters as my. Um, as my um, hashtag. Let me know if this construction noise gets too loud. Hopefully not. Hey, Raysmar can't stay, but here to say hello. Thank you. Great to see you, bro. Please remember to hit the like button before you leave. Oh, thank you, uh, Lynette. If you don't mind, uh, we'll take you up on that offer. Maybe it can be a friends and family uh, gym battle day. Booby Tube, hey, thanks for the encouragement. We got this guy. Uh, yes, yes, you are. Thank you, man. <laughs> Great to have you on the stream, bro. How's it, how are things in Florida? How's the summer shake been up? Hello, Tauntaun Train. How are you? Oh yeah, I'm using macaroni again, yep. Oh yeah, I hope Sparky got her bracelet. Does anyone know? It was after I was uh, sleeping. Oh, you can't see the stream, oh man. The stream is happening. And the coffee is pretty decent, actually. Summer in Florida is really hot, isn't it? Macaroni doing a lot of damage here. Really excellent. Throw the stone edge in there and we're pretty much done. Coffee hype, yes. That was my first sip of coffee for the day. It tasted good. The first sip's always the best, you know. Oh, what's the news? Oh, good point. So we got to tell you the news, bro. So on July 22nd, mark your calendar to basically play for eight hours in a row. Because on July 22nd, whether you are at um, Chicago Go Fest or not, and I think you actually might be, but anyways, everybody should mark their calendar. The main news is that um, whether you're in the Chicago Fest 
inside uh, Grant Park or not, wherever you are, um, you'll be able to participate and play together and participate in a set of global challenges. Some of the challenges will allow um, some of the challenges will allow people in Grant Park to unlock rewards that will in, that will go out to everyone in the world. So basically, the world will get extra uh, special bonuses and stuff if we, the people who are in Grant Park like us, are able to unlock them. And then the world will will enjoy those bonuses, but also will be able to unlock bonuses that then go back into the park. Um, and allow people into the park to, to get bonuses, and then the process will repeat. So all day, there's gonna be this schedule of bonuses based on what time it is, and then at the end of the day, there'll be a bonus, bonus challenge, I don't know what it's called, like a level two challenge or something, where if people in the park are able to accomplish a certain thing, they will send this bonus out to, actually no, if, if the world can accomplish a certain thing, they'll send a challenge back to uh, Grant Park for the last um, hour, and then, um, if, and then Grant Park will get the challenge, and if they can complete it, then the entire world will get uh, a extra bonuses for um, an extra bonus challenge for either 24 or 48 hours, depending upon how it all goes. So basically, it's going to be like a global, a set of global challenges, and they're calling it uh, the world plays together, and I think that's pretty accurate and pretty awesome. Oh, Sparky's going to go fast. Nice. That is amazing news. Oh, this is not ready. Okay. Sorry. You don't want me sitting on it. Oh, okay. No problem. So I just found out that the bench that I was on, I'm not supposed to sit on. So I won't. Later, bro. Take care. Yeah, sometimes it takes the uh, the future husbands a while to find out. Uh, yes, probably catching a certain number of certain type of Pokemon, I think. Um, I read it so fast because I wanted to uh, get back to the gameplay on the stream, but uh, yeah, I think the challenges, there's a graphic that shows the challenges, which is pretty interesting. power. Super effective against Norlax. Nice. Oh, yeah, sure. You're going to change your pick? Cool. Just so you know, sometimes when you change your pick, it takes a little while to update um, on your profile when you join chats for some reason. So your pick might still look the same for a couple days. If that happens, don't worry about it. It just takes a while for the servers to update for some reason. It's a Google thing, not you. Oh, would you like to show, uh, would, uh, I can show you the, the said graphic, absolutely. Let me show you. Uh, do I think the spawns will be increased? Yeah, probably. Uh, said graphic is, you had me at said graphic, by the way. Um, wait, where's that news? Oh, I think we actually found uh, the news on Twitter. Uh, so let me actually just fire up Twitter here. And let's do a quick search for Pokemon Go. There you go. So, um, Pokemon Go events around the world. There's a whole lot of information. Uh, during the day, there'll be three challenge windows in which trainers everywhere will work to will lurk alongside those in Chicago to unlock global rewards during the uh, challenge windows. Trainers in Grant Park will attempt to unlock perks for Go Pokemon Go players around the world by catching certain types of Pokemon. Each Pokemon type will be tied to a different perk, so trainers at the park will need to choose carefully which Pokemon they catch. Uh, will those in attendance try to catch the electric type Pokemon to reduce the distance required to hatch eggs? Oh, I see, right, so electric. 
will give people all over the world, if, you're, if you catch enough of those in the park, people will have a shorter distance to hatch eggs. If you uh, get enough grass type Pokemon, you're going to increase Stardust bonuses for people all over the world. If you, um, there's going to be other ones too. You won't be back home until August. Oh man, does that mean you're going to be in, um, wait, you're going to be in um, China still? Oh man, that, that could be bad timing. I'm so sorry, bro. Uh, yeah, so this is the graphic I was talking about. Um, the There's going to be three windows. I'm not sure if it's actually telling us what we unlock when. Maybe that's going to be a surprise. Uh, but yeah. Oh no, it's not a surprise. It's it, now, I, now I get the graphic better. I, I didn't get it the first time, but the, I think what the graphic means is that if you catch lots of uh, fire Pokemon, you'll unlock a candy bonus. Uh, lots of water, there will be an XP bonus. Lots of uh, grass, Stardust bonus. Lots of electric, you'll give the entire world um, a bonus to, to be able to hatch their eggs faster, uh, etc. Um, that's how it works. Encounter rate bonus. Oh, so talking about um, in boosting spawns, if you um, if you uh, focus on catching uh, that type of Pokemon, what's that again? The, the big circle. Um, then you will um, be able to increase basically spawn rates, encounter rates. Uh, that is fantastic. That's so cool. And then there's going to be a mystery challenge from six to seven when uh, if you achieve gold tier in phase ones worldwide, you'll be able to get a catch challenge to unlock the mystery challenge. I wonder when the, if that might be when the legendaries drop. And then uh, if we can, uh, if, if those of us in the park are able to complete this final challenge, then we'll unlock a major global reward, which will last for two days. Boom. I think those, th those things at the end, if I had to guess, would be the legendaries. Kind of looks like they, I, I hope I'm not over overreacting, but I feel like they've put some serious thought into this. Yeah, it could be Mewtwo or something. That looks so awesome, right, Brave? Wow, man. So let's find out what that egg, so there was an egg hatching, a level one egg hatching uh, near me. Let's just quickly find out what it actually is going to be. Not even showing here, so I'm just going to actually go back in the game. First legendary speculated is, is, is Mew. Interesting. Very interesting. So excited for GoFest. I know, Mystic Hell. I was excited already, but now with all this new information, it exceeds my expectations for how well designed it is and the fact that it's global. Like, I felt guilty that I had gotten tickets when so many other people were not able to and wanted to. Now I feel. I still feel guilty, but at least I feel better about the fact that um, they've designed something that's much more integrative than I expected, that integrates uh, people from all over the world uh, much to a much greater degree than I had expected. <laughs> oh, check this out, guys. I had thought that I was done taking this thing down. I think I was actually closer. Uh, I think some people might have put some weak mons back into this gym while I was reading the news, but that's okay. I just get to battle more. So yeah, this guy is named Team Stream NYC, and that's the name. That's true. You did. I did pay my money to take the chance. You know, I did make a choice to um, free up my schedule. Obviously, that's a sacrifice financially. So I guess I shouldn't feel that sad. I mean, guilty. I just wish that more of my friends could, could make it. Like, for example, Mil, uh, Mil, uh, Miltown Tubes. He's so close. He lives in um, in Milltown, uh, which is a, what we sometimes call um, uh, Milwaukee. Um, so that's like, what, a mile, uh, what, an hour away drive? And he loves Pokemon Go, and he's like close to level 40. I feel sad that he's not going to be there. Milwaukee, exactly. Do they call it Milltown because it used to have lots of mills in it? I think that's the reason, right? 45 minutes to an hour, exactly, I remember. Uh, random fact, I, uh, I took a um, cross-country bike trip um, after I graduated from college, and uh, the route we took took us through uh, Milltown, through Milwaukee. 
and it was great. We stayed with friends there. We went to the lake. Pretty nice um, beach uh, by the lake there. Uh, and then it took us only one day to get from Milwaukee to Chicago. And that's on bikes. You can basically, if you're, if you're reasonably serious about biking, you can basically get from uh, travel about 60 to 80 miles a day. So I think that's pretty much what it is, right? You're Japanese and you're lucky you can understand English. Yes, you are. Not just lucky, but uh, talented and you've worked hard for that, I'm sure. Thanks for being here. Are you in uh, Japan right now or somewhere else? Where are you joining us from? Little town with one L. You are in Japan. How do you think Niantic will prevent spoofers, DPS spoofers in, in Japan? Uh, I mean, in, uh, in Chicago, that is a great question. Oh, has my favorite uh, fake trainer tips arrived? Well, as long as he's the benign one, as long as he has the same benign personality that he previously did, uh, please tell your subs to sub to me. You can record now. Cool, big shout out to Leo. Uh, I would have told people anyways, even without that super chat donation. So I'm gonna do that. Uh, guys, definitely uh, sub to Leo. He's now gonna be recording his gameplay. And this guy is a really sick player. I mean, in, that in a good way, really awesome player. Um, he he's one of the kings of the uh, uh, of the excellent throws, and I wouldn't be surprised if he breaks the world record one of these days for uh, excellent throws in 30 minutes. So definitely sub to our moderator Leo. Thanks for the super chat love as well, bro. Mario Medina in the house. How's it going, bro? How are you? Great to see you. Yeah, I really hope they'll prevent spoofers in some way. Um, I think it's certainly possible, technically. Um, I think that there might be... Uh, so, there's honestly, there's a lot of technology that could be used. One technology could actually be some sort of a G, uh, GPS fence, fencing. Uh, technology um, where they temporarily scramble the GPS signals around there. Uh, that's actually been done uh, for military reasons. Um, so I don't know if, if there's civilian access to such a thing, but uh, you can actually scramble the GPS around a certain location. Hmm, the only question I have is could you scramble it for spoofers without scrambling it for all of us? Hmm, I don't know. see how we're doing. Okay, we're taking this down. Let's do something a little more interesting in terms of the uh, the gym uh, team here. Let's make sure that we use our Happy Royal, if we haven't already. Yeah, we haven't used this guy yet. Is there on-site Wi-Fi? You know, that's a good point. If they could actually do that, good point. So another technology that can be used for location is actually um, Wi-Fi and also, so if they have Wi-Fi all over, uh, they might be able to do it. Um, um, oh, no problem, bro. Um, and then they could also use near-field communication uh, based on GPS. Uh, no, sorry, based on Bluetooth. But, um, yeah, I'm not enough of a technologist. That's not my specialty. I mean, I am a technologist, but that's not my specialty location stuff. So I guess, I guess we'll find out. But I totally agree. I totally agree. Kai, what is up? Good to see you. All right. Um, yeah, I wanted to make this uh, gym team a little more interesting. Let's go with some dittos. Working on some drawings? Nice. Thank you for being kind of here and no obligation ever. Guys, uh, the construction noise is loud, so if it's too loud, just let me know, okay? These strong dittos, they're not bad at all. All right, let's rock and roll. 
These strong dittos are pretty good for gym takedowns, believe it or not. Oh no, Mucro uh, blocking the uh, Dratini. Oh gosh, you got Mucro blocked. You gotta uh, pop your shop. Am I streaming? Yeah, I'm streaming uh, later. So this is my morning stream. It's kind of a little bit later than my morning streams are usually. Uh, but yes, uh, I'm gonna do a second stream with Mac uh, later. Um, and probably do more gym raids on that one. Uh, what do I do, uh, use for this live? You've never seen it like this kind of window? Oh, interesting. Yeah, so this I'm actually using um, YouTube Gaming. Um, they call it YT Gaming. Um, and it works only on Android right now. Um, so that's, yeah, that's how I do it. Hot Pocket of the House, what is that? So that Ditto, one thing, cool thing about Dittos in uh, battles is that when they transform into the opposing Pokemon, the animation's interesting because they transformed at, at the same size. Same size as the opposing Pokemon. So instead of looking much smaller than the opponent Pokemon, they end up looking um, just as big as the opposing Pokemon. Uh, so that's, <laughs> for better or worse, I'm not loving this view. I can't really see what's going on. Uh, hey, Mystical, good question. How many raids have I done? Uh, probably close to 20. I did a whole bunch in the beginning. I've slowed it down a little bit lately. You did a bunch of raids last night, which was awesome. Oh, cool. Um, you left me a tweet message about later. Okay, cool, cool. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah, it is pretty sunny here in New York City today. That is true. Hey, Kai, have a great day. Thanks for dropping in. I appreciate it. Have a wonderful day. I'm sure you hit the like button already, but if you haven't, please do. Oh, yeah. Um, so, Eric, um, I would love to know how to replace the two black sidebars with photos. That I'm not sure how to do using YouTube Gaming. If anyone does know how, um, please do let me know. I know you can do that if you were live streaming from a desk using one of the live streaming apps. I don't know how to do it using YouTube Gaming, but if anybody does know, please let me know because I really wish I could do that. That would be so much nicer. Kai, thanks for the like, bro. Yes, Hana, I want you to go on that gym rage. We, t we talked about it and we haven't made that happen yet. We gotta do that sometime soon. In Photoshop, do it like uh, overlay, transparent. Yeah, totally. So I, I know we could create the overlay, but I don't know where I would add the overlay to the settings when I'm streaming on uh, YouTube Gaming. So the app that I'm using here, I don't see it in the settings. Although, you know what? I should go back and double check that. Have you guys? Um... Cool, Anna. Yeah, maybe we could do a mini rampage with those passes. That's cool. Yeah, I'll talk to Mac about it, and uh, if we're going to have enough time to do that proper, we'll do it today. Yeah, Instinct's going down here. Hey, you don't like Buckrow anymore? You did. You liked Buckrow before, is that what you're telling me? But now you don't. Hey, have a great night. Nice to meet you, Ton Train. It's great to see you always. Thanks for coming back. Big shout out to All62 watching. Thanks a lot for being... Uh, um, good question, Zavira. Maybe you can update the view from the desktop. All right, let's research that, because I've wanted to do that for a long time. Uh, last time I researched it, I couldn't figure it out, but maybe I missed something. Maybe I missed something. Um, guys, do you know any other people who are streaming on YouTube Gaming specifically? So that means they're streaming um, using this app and also on a mobile device, like Fogo or anything, uh, where, they, where, they are, where they do have an overlay on their streams? Because if you've seen it, like not on a hacking stream, but on a actual legit stream, then it should happen. Oh, sprint not so good, man. Sorry to hear that, Nixon. Thanks for being so perseverant, though. 
All right, I think we're almost done taking this gym down. Then I'm gonna look for a raid nearby. Yeah, that was quick. So the ditto's done good. <clears throat> ditto's did well. Whoa, dude, that was a super chat. It went by so incredibly fast. Fast. I need you mods to tell me it was red, which I think implies it was a large number. I think red um, is uh, red is a ultra generous large amount of uh, money. Holy cow, Ian Games. I'm seeing Ian Games. Thank you so much, Ian Games. You're the best, man. Thank you. Thank you for the super chat love, my friend. In games, what for? What, what, what? Four hundred euro. Oh my god, that is gigantic. Four hundred euro is like four hundred and fifty dollars, man. Dude, in games, I appreciate the generosity so much. Uh, you're sure you can afford that, right? If you can, I appreciate the support so much. It's going to help me a lot. Um, but I just, whoa, I just want to make sure you can afford it. $456? Holy cow. Thank you so much. That is just, well obviously that's record breaking on the stream. Uh, it's touching. It means a real lot to me. It means a real lot to me. Can I name like 10 Pokemon after you? Or um, do you want to uh, participate in, a, uh, in one of my trainer interviews? How can I make this up to you? How can I uh, reciprocate and uh, provide a token of my gratitude? You just let me know, okay? In the meantime, I just want to let you know I, uh, I, I'm touched and grateful. Thank you, Ian. Wow. Yeah, so he's very generous in streams. He must love streams, and, uh, well, I guess a lot of people love streams, but dude, that's incredible, man. Just wait till I tell Mac I know Jim this. Holy cow. We're gonna have to at very, you know what? We need to make a reaction video. <laughs> I need to record while I tell Mac. <laughs> that I'm gonna do, Ian. Let's see what. Let's see how much he smiles this time. Holy cow! Definitely sub to Ian Gaming, guys. Yes, please do. He does have videos. He does have videos. Uh, mods, if you're able to drop a link to um, Ian's uh, channel, um, to um, his sorry, if you, mods, if you can drop the link to Ian's channel in the chat, that'd be greatly appreciated. I can't do it while I'm live, but if you could, that would be fantastic. Uh, he has videos. I'm sure he'd like more subs. That's one way that we can all say thank you to him. That is one way. That is one very reasonable way. There you go. That's the channel. Please subscribe to him. Please. That would make my year if you guys please subscribe. Let's see how many extra sub uh, subscribers we can get, guys. <laughs> Severe is too fast for, for me. <laughs> yeah, Severe is amazing. That's a lot of euros, dude. Thank you so much for that donation. I can't, I cannot thank you enough. I'm definitely making that reaction video when I see Mac. Follow me in games, please. Please, please, please. Donate and coffee money now. <laughs> Yes, we have a bit more of a budget for that. I mean, that's also going to help a lot because this trip, is, trip to Chicago is not cheap. Um, I tried but failed to find um, a hotel that was cheap, <laughs> which is not surprising, I guess. So I feel a little bit better now about the fact that I'll be... Um, oh, took the gym down. I feel a little bit better now um, about the fact that I'll be uh, splurging a little bit in Chicago there to, uh, to be there. Hey, Mr. Call, thanks for uh, subbing. Thanks for subbing. Really appreciate it. Okay, let's put some, let's put someone in here. Uh, Pogo dead guy. And Ian Games did not actually say if he wanted something named, but I am going to name something um, after him. Uh, let's just give a berry to this guy. There's always a risk when you first put someone in that he could get kicked out fast. Oh, I got my daily raid pass. That's nice. Um, 
Let's see here. Oh, what? Oh, Delta, what happened? Yeah, I know what you mean, dude. I know what you mean. Well, Ian, thanks again. Really appreciate it. Uh, do you have a favorite Pokemon that you'd like me to name after you? Uh, yet another one? Let's see here. So we named a, um, we, we named, we already named Ian Games once uh, for, uh, with this guy, Arcanine. So we know he likes Arcanine. We totally know he likes Arcanine. Arcanine. Um, and so we're going to name another one. We should probably do a, oh, a Snorlax. Nice. Cool. We'll do both. Ian, thanks for telling me. Bless you, Ian. God bless you. He wants Snorlax too, right? Cool, cool, cool. Pokemon. CP. Cool. Let's check the uh, move. Let's check the appraise on this guy. Above average. Let's get one that's a wonder. Yes, actually, that's a very, very question. If you are young, I, I want to make sure that you have your parents' permission to, uh, to donate. I, I'm going to assume that for now, but if that's not the case, please let me know so I can uh, refund. Um, I, you know, I don't want to get an angry message from parents. Wait, where are my wonder? <laughs> How is it that I have so many not wondrous Snorlaxes? <laughs> Thank you so much, Ian Gabes. I'm looking for a wonder Snorlax. Um, there we go. And obviously we're going to power this guy up. So Ian Gaines, thank you so, so much for your generosity. Really appreciate it a lot. Uh, and uh, uh, yes, I hope he's right. I mean, I think there's also an element of uh, parental um, responsibility there where, you know, for example, my son doesn't have permission to uh, use my credit cards on his account. So there's no credit card linked to his account. Um, so I'm going to, um, um, yeah, exactly. I know he's done donations on other accounts, so I'm going to assume for now, since obviously um, if you have a credit card, you get the statements and stuff. Um, but uh, yes, definitely. Um, I'm going to assume the best for now. Uh, and I think we all should. But uh, as you know, I've definitely made... Uh, yes, I'm in uh, Greenwich Village. As, as you know, I've specifically stated on the stream that if it turns out that it wasn't authorized, I want to, based on principle, um, re refund it. Um, so we're gonna... Uh, it's gonna take a while to power this guy up. Uh, I might do some of it off the stream, but I just want to let you know uh, how much I appreciate it. Uh, the Super Chat donation was pretty outrageously generous, and uh, Ian Games, if you want me to rename anything else, uh, let me know. Otherwise, I'm going to definitely do that reaction video with Back. I can't wait to see his face when I tell him. Uh, he's also going to be bummed that he wasn't on the stream, because just so you guys know, uh, if he's on the stream, but only if he's on the stream, and if he's like following my instructions on the stream, I, um, I share some of the revenue with him. Uh, I'll probably share some of the revenue for some of this chat with him anyways, and it goes into his account that he could use to spend 
uh, what he wants. Hey, thanks a lot. Thanks for being on the stream. Shout out to your son as well. Oh, the Pidgey fled. All right, let's see what we're going to do next here. Let's keep it fun. Uh, oh, cool. And someone else put a defender in here. So now I'm not on my own defending this. Harry Potter Marathon. Nice. Hey, Timothy Coles, how's it going? Thanks for being on the stream, really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. All right, let's rock and roll. Um, so that's not my guy, but I'm gonna feed him. Um, the beer in the house. And we're gonna spin a focus stop. And now, okay, so what can we do now? Can we catch a rare? There must be some rares around. Hey, Eric G, how much longer am I going to stream for? I can probably do about half an hour more. Um, yeah, about half an hour more uh, based on my battery because I didn't bring my battery pack and there's a reason for that. Uh, I wanted to make sure that it forced me to stop even if I was having amazing fun because um, because uh, I also want to eat lunch with Mac and get ready for our afternoon stream. And we're also, oh, I have news. We're almost, we're 95% likely to take a bus trip tomorrow to uh, explore another city, uh, Baltimore, Maryland. Um, Baltimore, Maryland is um, a city about three hours away from here, uh, in case you're from uh, uh, Europe. Um, and uh, it's, uh, it's a cool city. Um, and it's where uh, Tommy Adventures, a couple of us who don't think it's, it's funny. Okay, I totally get that. Uh, totally get that, and I noticed in the comments, um, I, well, I think how a kid has that money is if his parents happen to be lucky enough to be financially secure. Um, so, I mean, I know kids whose parents are that secure. Um, I, uh, I hope he has his parents' permission, as I already um, stated, um, and I've also already stated that if for some reason um, uh, I find out later that he didn't have his parents' permission, um, I want to give the money back. Um, and the second thing I'm also stating, I, I mean, I hope other YouTubers, it sounds like he's been similarly generous with other YouTubers, and so I also want to say on the stream that I hope other YouTubers, if they later discover the same thing, um, would also refund the money. So, you know, I, I think that's an important uh, principle here. Uh, he's given 400 to me and 480 to the burrs. Yeah. Well, yeah, you can't uh, access a bank account, but you can be given a credit card. I, I have no idea. I just don't think this is a solvable problem, and I also want to be respectful enough to him uh, at, that I, we don't sort of... You know what I mean? Like, if I was in his shoes and for some reason I did have permission, um, and, we went, and we spent too much time on the stream speculating about whether he did, I also think that would be awkward um, and yeah so I guess what I would ask is I think I'm pretty been pretty clear about the fact that I only I'm accepting this provisionally I'm not gonna um, take money from a kid that doesn't have permission to give it to but I, I'm not gonna jump to conclusions based on information that I don't yet have I also want to say to everyone who's not sure that I also really totally appreciate your sense of conscience that you're expressing uh also uh, so let's see let's find out what happens all right i think more information will help us understand more uh and Ian, if you have any comments about this you're welcome to uh, to join in um and let's see what happens i should jump up and down like crazy yeah but I don't yet know if I'll have to give it back. <laughs> so, no, seriously, I may, I may, like you said, I may have to give it back. I may just be because of my morality have to give it back. Um, so honestly, that is another reason I'm not jumping up and down. Uh, but uh, in the meantime, let's uh, play some Pokemon Go.
<laughs> oh, Logan, thank you so much. That's a compliment. <laughs> I think, yeah, you're, uh, you're kind to say that. Catch that Batman, yes. Cyber season it. Um, Numpty Bumpkin is going to go fest. Nice. Oh, oh, wait, you're telling Numpty Bumpkin that you're going to go fest, which is also nice. <laughs> All right, where are the rares at, guys? I'm in Tribeca. And Delta definitely does not like Mukro anymore. He used to like Mukro. Which is more than some of us could say, but he doesn't like Mukro anymore. Okay, let's see here. Oh, so the hatch is uptown. Uh, we now know that one of those is a um, is a Blastoise gym. So I'm glad we didn't miss a Tyranitar gym. That's cool. <laughs> what if I said I'm in a parallel universe? I would say. I hope it's a good one. <laughs> I hope it's a really good parallel universe. That's what I wish for you. Oh yeah, so good, great point, Numpty Bumpkin. We should keep catching the Muckrows. He does have a uh, third, and it's always cool when those guys that we were wondering if we should keep catching suddenly become valuable, so it's important to keep the long game in mind. Absolutely, my friend. Oh cool, can we clean up this? guy. Also a Pidgeotto. Nice. Yes, Hannah Arts, I think you can. I think, the more I think about it, I think we should do that. Because, as I mentioned earlier, we're probably leaving town tomorrow to go to Baltimore for a couple days. And uh, there's going to be less raids there. There will be some, of course. But if we want to do a bunch, today would be a good day for that. That's for sure. Did we get the candies? Yes, we got 10. Nice. Your first Gen 2 was a Quag Quasmar at home? No joke. Wow, interesting, man. Very interesting. Ankara will be amazing. Well, that's good news. Not only will it exist, but it will be, it will be good, huh? All right, guys, it's official. Let's keep ca ca catching the, um, let's keep catching the Makaros, okay? And let's keep pineapping. <laughs> The Pidgeys. Seriously? Pine out the Pidgeys. If you think about it mathematically, it's a really good call. Another Halo's uh, Pokestop, nice. And now we're in Soho, in case you guys were wondering. We're on Worcester Street and Spring Street. Let's check for uh, rares. It's been a while since there was a, uh, a rare spawn down here near me. So I gotta think we're due for a rare spawn around here. Still none. I think rare spawns are way down lately. Yeah. 
Hey, what is up, Pokegirl7? How's it going? Another one of my favorite streamers and uh, YouTubers. Pokegirl7 in the house. How's it going? Poke Friday, what is up? Thanks for being on the stream. I love the channel name. Guys, if you jumped, just jumped on the stream, please remember to like the stream uh, sooner rather than later. I always appreciate it. Helps the stream trend better if you hit the like button early rather than uh, later. And right now we're coming to you live from the corner of Mercer Street and Broom Street in uh, Soho, New York. In, well, in Soho, neighborhood, New York City. <laughs> Poku Girl 7 in the house. <laughs> How's it going? I love it. <laughs> How's it going? Oh, Zavira, you're warming the pun engine back up, aren't you? Zavira is about to hit us with a uh, torrent of talent. Pun wise. That was loud. Uh, Leon Nymph, I record or actually stream uh, in this case with uh, YouTube Gaming. Let's see what this raid is all about. Ah, so that's a collaborate up there. With 33 minutes left. p.m. Eastern, nice. Always good to know when your favorite streamers are gonna be hitting the streets and the parks. Man, I feel starred for rares. Let's see what else. Rajul, you're in the stream. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Oh, gymnasts are going to be busy? Well, that's okay. Yeah, you're going to have to leave soon, right? For, um, for your next stuff. Yeah, there just really are not that many rares spawning in the city today. Oh, that's funny. Chuck, thanks for, thanks for that. I mean, I hope, uh, I hope that, uh, uh, I hope I'm not being too bad at influence. Maybe I should stop now. Oh man, that level three is not for a while. Big shout out to all 52 watching. If you haven't hit the like button yet, please uh, do hit the like button. Um, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing if you are enjoying uh, this legit gameplay walk around New York City. 
And if you have already subscribed and you want me to subscribe back to you, I would be happy to support you as well. I can't do it live, but I can do it if you leave me a comment on one of my other videos. Uh, yes. Yes, that is true, Lynette. Hope it is sorted. Um, I'm giving the whole situation the benefit of the doubt until I know more. Um, but obviously, do you want to get it sorted before I uh, assume anything final? Yeah, good point. Um, good point, good point, good point. Yeah, save all those rares, right? I'm pretty much saving all my rare candies, almost all of them. So I'm with you on that strategy. Yeah, GoFest um, news, which we read earlier, is just amazing. I'm so psyched about it. How about you? Mystical. What did he do wrong? Tell me more. I don't think anything. But then again, I don't know all things. So yes, Ian uh, Games, thank you again for the Super Chat donation, it was incredibly generous uh, and uh, really appreciate it. I appreciate your sentiment and your feelings and your support, without a doubt. Eric, right, I'm going to Chicago by uh, train, plane, or car. Um, haven't uh, bought the ticket yet, but hopefully um, airplane. Hopefully. Is there a nest migration tomorrow? I think so. Yeah, I think so. Does anyone know for sure? I'm pretty sure the answer is yes, but I'm uh, not, not, not positive. Is it not? Oh. I'm trying to remember when the last one was. Yep. Ah, Nest Modification tonight! Well, that's good news. Cool. Looking forward to um, being able to go back to Central Park. I've been steering clear because I don't want to bump into a zillion uh, do-duos up there. Oh, cool. Good to know, Pan Katir B. Great to know, actually. Great to know. Thank you. Oh, bag is full. Okay, let's catch. Yeah, hopefully nest migration is good. Um, I always love it when the nest in Central Park is pretty awesome because obviously it's fun to play in the park. It's been a do duo nest for two weeks. Yeah, exactly. Starters in parks are the best. So the Chikorita nest in Central Park was nice. Yeah, exactly. A chop nest would be the best. Later, Sabira. Have a great uh, dinner. Have a great dinner. Uh, Pankatir, yes, 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 yes. We were blessed with an amazingly generous donation earlier of uh, 400 euro. Yes, that is true. Fireplace 2014. 
What is up? Great to see you. Your uh, son was on earlier. Doing great. Doing great. We're uh, hunting in uh, Soho on Broadway. I think I need to get rid of some items. Maybe use some revives here. Oh yeah, good. You have a Charmander nest. Hey, that's pretty lucky, dude. John Smith in the house. How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Fireblaze 2014 in the house. If you don't already know him, he's uh, the guy who visited New York City and did not one but two amazing collabs with me. We're going to do more next time he's in town. Uh, yes, guys, if you're new, definitely hit the like button as soon as we can. What's our like uh, count right now looking like? Anyways. So subscribe to Fireblaze for more great content. He uh, streams down in Florida. Uh, his son was on earlier, uh, Yeshua. Such a cool name, by the way. It's like Joshua with a Y-E. 72. Thanks for 72, guys. Hmm, and game's lagging. Oh, Chandrit, I totally understand. I hope your father feels better. No problem, no problem. Might actually have to swipe the game out. I don't like that glitch, but it happens a bit. And we're coming to you from the streets of New York City, as usual. Uh, we've been streaming for a bit now. Uh, one hour, 41 minutes. Kai, thanks, man. Thank you. And to new subscribers, welcome. If you want me to subscribe back to you, I'm happy to support your channel as well. Um, to do that, I would need to know that you want that. So just leave me a request or just any comment really on any of my videos on my YouTube channel. It's a very unique name. It's Hebrew, right? I believe it means uh, Jesus. If I recall. A lager shandy because it's so hot outside. Yes, that's another classic uh, European drink. You don't see those around here very much. What good uh, Pokemon have I caught so far? So this has been one of the driest streams in terms of rares. We have done some fun gym takedowns, um, but I keep on checking, I'll show you. I keep on checking the uh, nearbys and it means Jesus, yeah. Uh, I keep on checking the nearbys and uh, for some reason the uh, rare spawns are just not not happening like uh, like they would usually be uh, and also the raids haven't been happening as much as I would have liked either let's see anything popping soon this one's popping in 45 this one's popping in oh yes we do get to do one raid I think so where am I oh yeah cool Let's go to that one raid, this one right here. If I run, I can get there in time. Okay, cool. <laughs> How come I mainly stay by Soho? Well, I go to Midtown a lot. Um, last few days, in fact, I've been mostly going up to Bryant Park, as you know. But today, um, I, I like to mix it up, and I think the viewers do also. Uh, so today, I went south to explore Soho, Tribeca, etc. That's probably a big reason. Hey Leo, absolutely, I do want to do one. I'm going there. So it's uh, uh, Houston Street and Ludlow. Okay, cool, yeah, I can get there pretty quick. It is, uh, they call it a 12 minute walk. I can get there in less, half a mile. Yeah, you want to see some raid action? Me too, me too. This has been like a fun stream, but it hasn't been filled with uh, raid action so let's make let's change that right now also guys if uh, if you're on Twitter Facebook etc and uh, your followers are into uh, Pokemon, oh, sorry guys I'm just gonna slip by you oh thank you so much how you doing um, now would be a perfect time to share the stream on Twitter uh, just let them know we're gonna do a gym raid in 10 Gym Raid in 10.
how much longer. Uh, so I have 30% left on the battery and I kind of timed it so that by the time it gets down to 15% or so, um, that'll be the time I was going to stop. Oh, go this way? Cool. Thank you, sir. Uh, yeah, so uh, like I was saying, now would be a great time to share the stream on Twitter, Facebook, or Insta. Let your friends and followers know that we're going to gym raid in 30, please. Oh, you're back from failing to catch a Lapras raid boss? Yeah, I've failed to catch several. Oh, perfect. Thanks, thanks, Leonard, for putting it on the Facebook page. If you guys are not already uh, uh, on, uh, connected to the Facebook page, please consider liking the Facebook page so that you can get updates from there, too. Maybe Lynette can drop the uh, Facebook page link. Oh, dude, so Leo has uh, almost uh, 100 subs. Guys, let's see if we can get him up to 100. If you guys haven't uh, subscribed to Leo, please do. And please subscribe to the rest of the um, mods. They're awesome. And they all have uh, channels. All right, let's see here. Shout out to all 37 watching. We're headed to this raid which is uh, level 30, level three, starts in six minutes. Whoops, and the game crashed. Oh, you messaged me, nice. Oh, and Fireblaze, thanks for sending the tweet, bro. Really appreciate that. Gym raid in five minutes. Oh, good, Leo. Thanks for dropping your uh, your deal, your stuff. Jr. Sanchez, sup? Uh, J Gamer, what have we caught today? Much less amazing stuff than usual, although we have uh, although we have uh, um, caught uh, quite a few Pokemon. We've been out for about two hours. Probably the highlight was our gym takedown, but now we're going for a gym raid, so it's about to get real, even more real. How you doing? So that uh, gym raid should be starting in about three minutes. Uh, maybe I should actually use a raspberry, huh? Am I gonna have to use a great ball on this guy? Hopefully not. Oh, thanks for subbing to Leo. Awesome, awesome.
Less than five micro is a spawn. Oh, I missed it, missed it. I think it was a joke too. All right, so are we almost there? Yes. We're gonna get there just in time, three minutes. Uh, how long am I streaming for? Uh, probably after this raid, I'm gonna call it a day. Just about, unless, unless something rare spawns. Oh man, I missed the joke. As in, I didn't get to read the joke. Not that I read it, but didn't get it. Oh, it's going to be at Katz's Deli. Cool. One of the best, one of the oldest and best uh, uh, delis in New York City. Katz's. Uh, less than five micro uh, in a spawn is called an attempted murder. <laughs> so what you did there. <laughs> <laughs> Murkrow. <laughs> Less than five Murkrow. Nice. Okay, let's get there. I'm gonna run to get across the street here. Make the light. Hey Swag, I guess we're going to find out. Um, I know there was one on the Burr channel as well. Um, I think uh, for now what we're going to do is uh, assume they're real, but also be prepared to, you know, to, to absorb new information and to act appropriately if we learn that, uh, that it's not for real. Obviously hope it's for real. It's hard to, to assume it's not real and simultaneously <laughs> be happy and and, um, and respond to the generosity with generosity and, and, and genuine uh, positivity. So it's like I can't, I can't simultaneously assume it's not, but also respond in the way that I think someone would want to have me respond if they were that generous. So for now, I'm going to respond with gratitude. Uh, ah, we're at Katz's. There we go. Let's watch that later. Oh, the stream's going to be over soon, so after that we can watch the uh, raid. Hey! Love to the Omni Squad. Great to see you. And this raid is about to happen, or maybe it even has hatched. Let's see. 18 seconds. I think I see at least one other trainer, so that's cool. Uh, I think that's well said, Lynette. So I'm going to try not to speculate, especially on uh, the stream, because, uh, well, you know, Ian's on the stream, and I want him to continue to feel... I would feel awkward if I did that, and, uh, uh, and, and there was too much speculation on the stream, so I, I would really appreciate it, guys, if uh, we could focus on... Uh, if we could just, you know... Keep the keep the uh, stream about the stream because one thing is for sure uh, it was a act motivated by generosity and support right so okay so that's the feeling behind it that's the motivation behind it okay so we're gonna use Tyra's we're gonna use oh we're gonna use Dragonite so that's cool we're probably not gonna want these many Blissies so let's switch it for Tyra's. There we go. Uh, I've actually seen message messages. I've, I've seen uh, messages that made a lot of sense, so... I guess I'm a little bit more optimistic. Um, oh, 
Oh, my pleasure. It's my pleasure not to boost and cheat, that's for sure. Oh, we got to use our sizer. Sizer. Nice. Oh, wait, that sizer can't be used because it needs to be revived. Darn it. I was hoping to. 24% battery, that's right. Good thing I have enough time for this. There we go, let's use that sizer. Uh, what else are we gonna use? We could use Gengars. It looks like we could also use... Um, they would use pincers, but let's use uh, another uh, Dragonite. Um, oh man, I don't see any other players, so we're gonna have to go strong here, man. Whole bunch of Dragonites, hoping for the best here. Ran out of time. We'll see what happens. We have lots of time, so if, uh, if I fail, I'll try again. Let's see if I'm gonna be the only one. Oh, there's two. Cool. That is correct. In a couple hours, I'll be back with uh, Mac. I'll be back with Mac. Oh, uh, Scissor, right? I pronounced it Sizer, but it's actually Scissor, right? Don't sleep on Scissor. <laughs> can we get the Alakazam with one other trainer? With three, we definitely can. With two, I think we might be able to, but it's got to be very close. Uh, my teammate is using Dragonite, that's cool. I'm not going to dodge much because I want to make sure that I can do it. Yeah, definitely can beat it with four, might be able to do it with three. Scissor is fast, this fast move is, oh man, it just charges so fast. Okay, so... Can we get to... By the, by the 90 second point, if it's in yellow. Oh, you know what? We may be able to get this. Oh, he did hit, hit me with the strong move. That's brutal. That strong move is really brutal. I should probably try to dodge it. How many battlers am I in? I think it's my fourth. So I should probably try to dodge the strong. I think I do have it, yeah. Did I dodge the strong? Partly. Big shout out to FLL Videos. He's not on the stream, but he's another one of my favorite YouTubers. Yeah, I think I do have it. I think we got this. Just gotta make sure we don't uh, actually faint. Strong move, I got another strong move in. Nice. Hey, DJ Yash, yes, 400 donation. That's amazing, isn't it? Shocking, amazingly generous. Really a blessing, I think, a blessing. Ian Games, thanks again, bro. For your uh, for your spirit of generosity. And he's going down. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Got a charge to him, nice. It was worth it for that. Plus, I actually do want more Alakazam, so that's good, too. Most of the contribution was by... Nice. Two people defeated it. Yeah. Pretty psyched. Now, let's see if I can make the catch. It's got 11. 11 Pokeballs. Thanks, everyone, for joining. Really appreciate it. If you've been enjoying it, please uh, make sure you hit the like button. Uh, I'm going to be ending soon, but let's make sure we catch this guy first. Charge TM, it was worth it just for that, right? Great rewards, yeah. Alright, we'll start with the Raz here. Hey, thanks Leo for the encouragement, really appreciate it. Mr. Call, thanks, man. Oh, first throw, catch? Hmm, it's so weird. Sometimes catching the boss is so hard. Other times it seems easy. I guess that's what it is. 
Yeah, basically when GoFest happens, I'm so happy that they have a plan to integrate everyone else into the fun. Uh, yes, I will go to GoFest and I'll be either streaming or uploading from GoFest. So if you're subscribed, you'll be able to know when I'm live or know when I upload. I'll either be live a lot or uploading a lot, you know, as fast as I can. Although now with all of those timed challenges, I'm going to have to be super efficient. Oh man. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for being on the stream. I greatly appreciated it. I had a lot of fun. Big shout out to um, our Super Chat supporters. By the way, one, our first Super Chat of the day was Moderator Leo. Please show Moderator Leo some love by uh, subbing to his channel if you haven't already. Uh, Leo, drop your uh, channel name in one more time if you can. I would really appreciate that. Um, second of all, please uh, say a big uh, full-throated thank you to the uh, warm-hearted Ian Games. Ian Games, you must really like this game. I obviously get the impression you enjoy the stream. That means a lot to me. Thank you for um, expressing that. I really appreciate it. Oh, that's awesome, Randy G. Sending me the, um, the Baltimore map because I'm going to be in Baltimore tomorrow visiting one of my two best friends with Mac and hopefully also, um, and almost certainly also playing in uh, Baltimore. Um, also, fingers crossed, I might get to uh, meet up with that gamer dad if his schedule permits. So, uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so much for being so awesome. And uh, just a quick outro, outro as I get in the subway. Time to pick up Mac. Uh, well said, and thanks again. Oh, good call, uh, subbing to Randy G. She's awesome as well. This is one of the oldest subways in the city, and you can tell because of how narrow the uh, entryway is. Second Avenue Station. Yeah, it is a beautiful day, Leo. Leo, I'll hit you up on text to let you know how much time we're going to be playing in the afternoon. If it's a lot, you might want to join us. But if it's only like an hour, then it's probably not worth the trip. So I'll keep you posted. I think I saw a question about what time would we stream. So roughly speaking, my best estimate would be in approximately two hours. But that could be off by like plus or minus an hour, I guess. Wait, insufficient fare. Oh, I just remembered. I need more money on this. Yeah, I'll definitely let you know, Leo, as soon as I can. Because obviously you'd need some advanced warning. Oh, that's right. Yeah, she doesn't post videos. You could still sub to her if you want, but you might not see videos. Oh, single ride tickets only. I get unlimited. Actually, no, I'm going away. So add value. Hey, welcome back. It's a very you're here for the most exciting part. Just kidding, obviously. We uh, we got a level three gym raid down with only two uh, only two trainers, me and one other, Alec Kazam, and caught it on the first throw.
yeah, this is the end, kind of. This is the sub subway outro, which I do because some, but not all, of the subscribers have told me they enjoy seeing the uh, subway at the end of the stream, so I decided I would stream for a moment every time I get in the subway. This subway station is ancient. In the end, it doesn't really matter. Are you a fan of Nirvana? I hear music. Oh, cool, Randy. I think I'm gonna stop the stream now and look at the Facebook first. Thanks, Randy. After all, there's only so much you can see in an old subway station. All right, guys, see you on the next one. Peace. <laughs> Thanks for the laugh again. <laughs> Cheers.